Right. What's up, everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me. We're going to be spending some time today looking at this little number. This is the Voltrove RBA, you know, for Boro billet boxes. It's going to be going into my pulse. I opened this weeks ago in the vlog live stream. I set it up in one of the other different live streams with a liquid that I wasn't super in love with, you know? But I'm kind of counting that as a blessing in disguise because post stream, I was using it and using it. I was like, man, I really don't like this juice. So I'd set it down, I'd use it some more and I ended up just kind of leaving it and, and leaving it sit there. I came back maybe two days later and the Voltrove had just emptied itself all over the place, emptied. It was on the doors, it was all over the pulse, and honestly, shout out to Tony B, the juice didn't get anywhere except for kind of inside the little juice chamber. It didn't get near the chip or near the battery or anything, which was great, but I'm super bummed that this kind of emptied itself, and I'm wondering, well, what did I do wrong in that live build stream that, you know, so I don't replicate it now? So what we're gonna do is get this Voltrove up and running, handing out some banana stickers today. We're gonna slide down right now and take it apart as it is, as it has, you know, leaked. We'll look at my old build. We'll look at the old wicking, maybe see what I did wrong. Rinse it out, we'll get going. This is already too long. I'll meet you back up on top. Let's go. Let get my paper towel here. My poor juicy little Voltrove. Juicy little plastic airflow insert on the bottom. This just separates into two pieces. That was my wicking, and this was a two and a half millimeter coil, so maybe that's just straight up not enough cotton, and I need to do a three millimeter coil and put some three millimeter levels of cotton in there. It's got two big juice inlets right there. Damn, I can't explain why it was leaking. Maybe it was just wicking so good maybe it was wick it was just too good wicking so good that it just kept wicking and then dripped liquid out that airflow hole anyway i'm gonna go clean this out real quick there's just some cotton in there that i cannot get out so this is a good example of don't install install your coils like this so ideally you kind of want your coil to be much more over that airflow at the bottom of your smiley face here the mouth is your airflow the mustache coil needs to be directly over the mouth <laughs> This is just a little bit too low and a little bit over to one side. It's a Boro thing, so of course there's going to be a little bit of a song and dance involving getting this on an actual, like, working mod so you can dry fire your coils and the such as. Positive pin comes off the bottom. Boop, that's what you're left with. And then your adapter is going to screw on to that little thread. Huzzah! This build is coming completely out today. Trying out some of these crazy coils. Three millimeter alien, let's go. I'm hoping that three millimeters solves my wicking problem. I clipped those leads down to a five millimeter and I'm going to leave it like that. Believe it or not, I'm going to screw these down because I'm going to try to bend it down just a little bit over that airflow. Yes, just like that, right over the airflow. And there's plenty of clearance for the top. I'm gonna get this wicked. Not famous last words, you know, I hope it's perfect. This coil came out to a 0.23. Just gonna cut it kind of right at the edge of the deck here, but more where the O-ring is than this actual edge. Up just a little bit. And see, that looks really good to me, but it did look really good to me before as well, before it started leaking. It's real easy to wick. You just kind of thumb those wicks down in there. Okay, there's some vapors happening. You just press that chimney right up into this tank. It just sits on there with some O-rings. In fact, if we wanted to, we just put this whole thing together right now. Unscrew it. Hope you didn't lose your little contact pin. Now, let's just get this. Whoops. No. Needs its plastic sled on the bottom. That sled kind of directs the airflow where it needs to go. Now, now we can put it in here, but not backwards. All right, reading to point two. Firing nicely, that's it, we're done. Let's fill this up and get back up on top. Boo, done, normal view, go. So uh, I had this Voltrove in the Pulse and, and it was fine and it was vaping good, but the Pulse has much more airflow allowed to it than the billet box does. And because that Voltrove has the little plastic sled on the bottom, I had a feeling that that's just custom tailored for a billet box airflow experience. So I put the Voltrove in the billet box and man, it is good. It, it's too good. It's almost too good. The airflow is beautifully open, buttery smooth. The flavor is 
stellar. This is uh, this is legitimately good. This is legitimately impressing me on another level right now to the point that like it makes me not ever want to even try to release my own Boro Bridge because I don't think I could do it as good as the Voltrov did it. It's like when you're in a band and you're playing like a band showcase and you're like the fourth out of like six bands, but the second band gets up there and just is amazing and just kills it. And you just like, you're like, oh, so we're done. You just throw your instruments in the trash. Like, so we're going home now. The Voltrove makes me want to throw my instruments in the trash. Man, this flavor is good. I put that uh, Amoratorium Glamour Raspberry Ripple. Sorry, everybody in the UK for that accent. Amoratorium Glamour Raspberry Ripple. It's delicious. I was previously using this in a dripper, and this is my first experience with it in a boro, and it, it tastes good. I mean, it tastes, I think it tastes better in this Voltrove than it did in the dripper. It's uh, it's delicious. This is an incredible vape experience. Now, I haven't tried it with the chimney reducers in there. I'm assuming that is to restrict the airflow, and it's restricting the airflow after the coil. As it stands right now, it's a pretty open... I mean, it's restricted because it's a billet box, but it's among some of the more open. It uh, feels the same to me as like the Mission Orbit fully open. I'm going to have to do a bridge comparison soon or something because this Voltrove in my brain right now after vaping it just like killed everything else that I have. It was like, nope, Voltrove is here. Needs a three millimeter coil, needs a lot of cotton. Don't thin it. In fact, cut your cotton a little bit longer than you think so you can cover those juice flow holes that are in there. This one's been going for the better part of like all day. No leaks, no nothings. I've been grabbing it pretty frequently. And I think that three millimeter coil is gonna help. If it does leak, I'll it's whatever. I'll just wait a few days after this video and if it leaks, I'll tack something onto the end. If it doesn't, then I won't. Uh, hey, future guy here. Uh, it didn't. Whoa, vape budget hands. Okay, so look, they're not exactly giving away these Voltrove RBA Boro bridge tanks. $120. Yeah, that's vape budget hands. For serious vape budget hands. That's vape budget hands for everybody. That's vape budget hands for me. All things considered, I think if we were going to play the Aliens game, this is going to be hard to say no to. Like, it's vaping so well. I might pay $120 for this bridge. Assuming I already had a billet box. You know, assuming I was already vaping billet boxes and sort of in that ecosystem this bridge is kind of like i said mentally killing everything right now is this better than the mission orbit i don't know if this is better necessarily than something like the mission orbit which i hold in very high esteem but i'm just going to lean into this feeling i'm having right now yeah that's it's going to be 10. i can't find fault with this Voltrove. Like, honestly, look at it in there. This the black Voltrove and Golden Boy, this, that, that looks rad. It's aesthetically doing a lot for me. I, I don't know if I want to vape anything else inside of a billet box right now. I just, I just want like 15 Voltroves. I am really hyping this up, aren't I? I hope other people gave this a good review because I love the crap out of it. Anyway, uh, this is the end of the video. I'm going to put a bunch of science down in the description of a Grim Green video because when it comes to the science of vaping, I want us to listen to the scientists. I'll just tell you that uh, no matter what's in your hand, hopefully it's a Voltrove RBA, no matter what's in your hand, as long as you're not some a you know dumb underage, ki under 21-year-old kid, then yeah, absolutely, let's keep on vaping. <coughs> it's like 10.30 and I'm... Uh gonna smoke so <clears throat> all right well what's up everybody grim green back here today thank you so much for joining me again we're gonna spend be